Ah, what's up you guys? I am just out here in Orange County rolling around, man. Wanted to say hi to y'all this morning and uh, make a quick video on the way to doing some of the things I'm doing today. Hope you guys are all doing pretty good out there. This one will be probably pretty brief. I was sitting there thinking like, what am I gonna make my video about today? Like, I got some really good topics that are coming up um, based on the um, video that we did yesterday and some suggestions that have come in about how to get motivated when you're really just not feeling it. Nate, that was a good one, thanks. I'm definitely gonna hit that up. Um, talking about, uh, oh, there was another really good one, but it's slipping my mind right now because I'm doing too many things at the time. Nonetheless, I wanted today, I was sitting there thinking like, what am I gonna make this video about? And nothing was really coming to me, so it's kinda like, well, what are you dealing with? What's going on in your life? And today's just been one of those days, man. Not a bad day. There's nothing that's necessarily happened bad, but it's been one of those days where there's been all these little things coming up, and I'm just getting hit with this, and hit with that, and hit with this, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay. Like this is this is getting ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm rolling, doing as fast as I can, and I'm just trying to keep up with everything. But all these little things keep happening that are like trying to trip you up, trying to hit you. And in logotherapy, there's a this is like supposedly the third Viennese school of psychology. Um, there's a man named Viktor Frankl. If you want a good book, there's a book called Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And basically, he's this. Um, I forget if he was like a neuropsychologist or what exactly he was before uh, the Nazis invaded Germany and took him into an uh, internment camp and he was part of the like two or three percent that survived. Um, he founded this whole string of psychology called logotherapy and it's all about uh, purpose driven therapy. Like what's your purpose? And I love this stuff. So, um, I was basically saying all that, I went off on a tangent, but um, essentially what I was getting at is that it's been one of those days and a lot of things have happened. He talks about paradoxical intent and paradoxical intent is like, if you want something to happen really, really bad and you're worrying about it happening, you can actually stop yourself from making it happen. Um, and he uses this like people that have like um, anxiety or they're really worried about something that's gonna happen. They're like sitting there like, what if I get into a car accident? What if I get into a car accident? He encourages them to think about like, well think about what if you get into a car accident and make it into a joke and use the humor to take the seriousness out of it to disarm the fear in it, right? So I'm going on this whole big circle to say that essentially as things were hitting me today, I started to be like, you know what? like. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the seriousness out of all these little roadblocks I'm hitting. I'm gonna go ahead and calm down and I'm gonna find the humor in it. So, you know, this thing popped up and I started just kind of like, you know what, I'm just I'm just working through it. I'm working through it and oh, whoa, whoa, wow, look at what happened now and look what happened this, this other time. And it really helped me kind of go from a place of being offended or bothered or bugged or hurt by um, the things that were happening into a place of finding the humor in the things that were happening and then back into my normal mindset of, hey, boom, this is all happening to make me better, to make me stronger, to make me smarter, to help me learn how to roll with this, roll with that, to be more flexible um, and to learn how to overcome adversity again and again and again and again until I am conditioned to the standard until I'm conditioned to a standard where this adversity doesn't phase me anymore. And one of the things I talked about is a simple fact that if you want rest in life, you need to become stronger than what is currently being required of you in your given situation. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna be able to rest, you wanna be able to chill, you've gotta be able to be conditioned above the standard. You've gotta be able to complete and, 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 and be able to really conduct your operations, what's being required of you in your life right now, you've gotta evolve. And when you do that, boom, you get this little like bit of rest because now you're getting everything done and you're ahead of the game, right? Mountains and valleys, right? Day and night, the ocean comes in and it goes back out. And that is, those are the laws that govern our world. What's going down? What's going down, y'all? Thanks for joining me. Everybody, Megan, I see you on there. Josh, hey, what's up, brother? I am actually driving past you right now. Nate, 
you're the man i'm gonna definitely talk about you know getting motivated when you're really not feeling it which i kind of touched on but i'm gonna definitely get in de depth with that one soon that was a good video anyways y'all i wanted to go ahead and spin that around real quick for you and see what you thought about it um love you guys man hope you're having a good day going ahead and do the best you can with what we got left of this day y'all later oh and if you know somebody that could appreciate this message hit them up get them connected and also if you guys know of any other facebook groups or pages that like would benefit from any of the stuff that i'm doing let me know where they're at or connect me with them some kind of way so um you know we can go on ahead and get everyone connected and spread the word and do all that fun stuff all right y'all talk to you soon later